Hey friends, if you encounter the error AMD AGS x64.dll is missing from your computer, then please watch this video for the resolutions. Now I'll start with the main resolution first. Go to this website dll-files.com or any other popular DLL file website and you will have to search for this DLL. So I'll search for it. I'll paste it and I'll hit enter and then I'll click on this file name here. I'll scroll down and then I'll click on download for the latest version and then I'll scroll down once again. I think that it should start downloading now. Yes, it has downloaded. So I'll open this download folder and I'll select extract all and click on extract. Now I'll copy this DLL file. Now I'll go to this PC and then C drive and after this I'll click on view show and hidden items. Now we'll have to go to the syswow file. So I'll go to windows and then I will scroll down and click on syswow64 and then right click in the open area and select paste. It will ask for the administrator prompt. Click on continue and this file will be pasted here. So we didn't have this file earlier and that is why it was missing. But now we have this file. So all you need to do is right click on the start button and restart your computer. Once you restart your computer, your problem will be resolved. However, in the rare case, if it doesn't resolve the problem, try the uh, following solutions. Solution number two is to perform an SFC scan. Search for command prompt in the Windows search bar and click on run as administrator in the right pane to open the elevated command prompt window. In the elevated command prompt window, type the command SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter to invoke the SFC scan. The next solution is to simply reinstall the program. Now to uninstall the program, right click on the start button, select settings, go to apps, installed apps, wait for it to load, click on the application here, select uninstall and then once again you have to click on uninstall. Once this is done, you can reinstall from the original website. The last solution if everything else fails is to perform a system restore to a date when the system was working fine. So search for the word recovery in the windows search bar and open the recovery window. Click on open system restore and then you can click on next and then uh, next once again to initiate the system restore process. I don't have a restore point here else I would have shown. Wasn't this easy and interesting? If yes, then please subscribe to the channel and if not, then let us know in the comment section below on how we could improve further. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.